If I could give uh, a couple of them who I would rank equally at the top of the ladder, would clearly be the geopolitical issues, the power shift to China. That's unprecedented uh, in modern history. Then definitely ecological environment and the challenges that are connected with that. Certainly uh, demographics play a role, the aging societies as we have seen in the debate this morning. And uh, last but not least is the uh, implications of uh, digitization. So no shortage of uh, quite significant changes that we have to face and cope with. I think there's no quick fix for either of these issues. Uh, so on the one hand, we have to have patience to come to grips uh, with a problem, make sure that there's a consensus on how to tackle them. Uh, we also have to be aware that time is of the essence and uh, there's no time to be wasted. But uh, that triggers a dialogue that is an absolute necessity to come up with a broad consensus because it's neither politicians, nor business people, nor NGOs that can do the trick. And I'm very concerned that between these groups, there's not enough of a consensus yet built. Hence, I would propose that um, we have uh, an intensification of this dialogue, but always with a clear objective to agree on some recommendations that would then be forced to be implemented in a controlled manner. Well, the relevance is uh, twofold. One, the topics chosen are relevant. They coincide with what I just listed. So there's no uh, theme that you would consider as marginal. Not a big surprise, I would say. But uh, what makes the conference uh, quite worthwhile is the fact that we have in a very open, constructive atmosphere, a dialogue between very different stakeholders, if you want to call them that way. So you are confronted with views, opinions, that you don't necessarily own yet, and you might disagree, but that's part of the process to learn from each other and develop a better mutual understanding as a precondition for finding the right solutions.